spectral reflectance albedo uh, spectral reflectance curve uh, field spectrometer spectral response spectral response of water interaction of water with electromagnetic radiations roughness of water surface uh, coming towards spectral reflectance it is the average amount of incident radiation reflected by a surface at some wavelength interval is called spectral reflectance and normally expressed as percentage uh, it says that it is the ratio in between uh, the reflected energy and the incident energy multiplied by 100 which is converted to percentage you know, albedo is defined as the amount of uh, electromagnetic energy reflected by a surface to the amount of uh, energy incident upon it. Uh, it is the same as reflectance, but the uh, difference in between both of them is that uh, it says that the energy incident and reflection, so the, it is the ratio in between the incident and the reflection of uh, electromagnetic energy uh, and uh, reflectance was difference in uh, uh, was different in the manner of uh, some kind of uh, electromagnetic energy spectrum that is for example x or y uh, usually albedo is averaged over the visible range of electromagnetic spectrum uh, reflectance relates to a specific wavelength or a specified band of a uh, satellite uh, what does the band mean? For example, here is we see that uh, is a, a visible range. In the visible range, there are three parts. Uh, that is blue, green, and red. These parts, that is blue, blue, green, or red, all are known as bands so blue is band one blue, green is the second band and red is the third band and so on that is infrared band near infrared band and far infrared band and so on uh, albedo is uh, as uh, we discussed that it is the uh, ratio in between reflectance and incident so in the clear parts that is uh, uh, here clouds and iceberg the re reflectance is much more while here in the water there is no reflectance but here is uh, absorption yeah, spectral reflectance curve or profile what is spectral reflectance curve yeah, for example here is any object uh, that is uh, uh, for example any rock uh, uh, of uh, any metamorphic sedimentary or igneous uh, the energy that is incident uh, on this object and reflects again so this will form a specific uh, curve uh, in a remote sensing imagery uh, which is known as spectral reflectance curve or profile for example this is a uh, igneous rock so in a uh, this uh, rock will have some kind of a uh, reflectance curve for example we consider here as one uh, if here is a sedimentary rock this one so the reflectance and incident we consider here reflectance and incidence so the reflectance curve will re receive here or obtained here will be kind of a, like this so the one is 
difference from the second one. Okay. Uh, so graph of a spectral reflectance of an object as a function of wavelength is termed as spectral reflectance or uh, curve or profile. Uh, curve gives us insight into the spectral characteristics of an object and has a strong influence on the choice of the wavelengths in which remote sensing data is acquired for particular application. Uh, different objects has uh, reflectance and they, their reflectance uh, might form different curves for example if we consider this one that is for example for any object x and this one is for any object y and same like uh, if there is an object that is uh, another object that it, it might be uh, any other thing is its reflecting will be z so x y and z are the values now i'm here just considering these are variables here reflectance curves are made for the optical part of electromagnetic spectrum that is up to 2.5 to 3 micrometer uh, here the reflectance curves for example we see here that uh, it, here is a uh, lambda value and on the other side we consider it as a brightness view so the electromagnetic spectrum might be uh, from here to 2.5 or 2.0 or, or 3 micrometer so the reflectance curve may be in between both of them. What is field spectrometer? Field spectrometer is a device which is used to uh, store the electric, uh, the electromagnetic spectrum of different objects that might be uh, vegetables, that might be uh, vegetation, that might be rocks, that might be a soil, that might be um, any object, that might be water. So. Uh, to relate different kinds of surfaces and their spectral signatures, uh, efforts are made to collect and store of typical curves in a spectral libraries. Uh, reflectance measurements can be carried out in laboratory or in the field by using the field spectrometer. Uh, different objects has different uh, electromagnetic curves uh, which can be uh, shown through using the field spectrometer or laboratory uh, testing or measurements uh, so in the field spectrometer we will see uh, here that uh, it's a different kind of vegetation uh, for example uh, here we consider object or vegetation type 1 and here vegetation type 2 and here vegetation type 3 and here consider just uh, like uh, rocks so here four so all of them having different reflectance values so these different values can be saved in this device which is known as field spectrometer and these values can then be identified for example if the reflectance value which is obtained from object or vegetation one will be saved here in the field spectrometer which can be used easily there at, and it will show us that what kind of object is lying at point 1 or vegetation 1 and what is the uh, or and what will be the reflectance value of this object or this part uh, now we will see that what is spectral response so a basic assumption of the remote sensing is that specific targets have individual manner of interacting with the incident radiations and is described as spectral response of a target. Different objects having different responses. As we seen uh, in the first, uh, in the beginning, that, uh, the name, that there are different features on the earth surface. Uh, for example, we consider here as an igneous rock, uh, where and there is a metamorphic rock, and here is a Kind of water so all these surfaces having different interacting uh, interaction with the uh, 
uh, electromagnetic waves. So these responses of different objects is known as spectral responses of uh, the objects. Specific targets such as soil of different types of water with varying degree of impurities and depths of rocks of different ecologies and vegetation of various species have different specs, uh, spectral responses. As we have seen here, the different objects having different spectral response. So, side of different types, that is uh, uh, loamy soil, silty soil, clay soil, having different spectral response. And water with varying degrees of impurities having different space, uh, spectral response and depths. Rocks of different lithologies having different spectral uh, response and vegetation of various species having different spectral response. That is, if we take a vegetation uh, as a grassland, so the reflectance of a grassland will be something else and the reflectance value of a forest will be something else and the reflectance value of a uh, like a, uh, uh, like a mango or like a, uh, another fruit uh, tree will be different spectral response spectral response may vary from time to time during years such as village vegetation crops grows the spectral response values changes from time to time how for example uh, in the summer season in the summer season the spectral response of the plants or trees uh, that is that will be different because in this uh, mostly uh, plants and trees in the summer season are green green and in the winter or fall season mostly uh, plants and trees are not uh, lush green so the spectral response of both of uh, uh, seasons having uh, have dep will depend upon the uh, types of uh, seasons and uh, also on the uh, vegetation and trees Uh, spectral reflectors of water. Now we will see that what is the spectral reflectors of water and how it uh, can be uh, seen. Uh, so possible reflectors from water bodies that is it might be from the surface of the uh, water body, it might be from the volume or it might be from the bottom. We will see all of them one by one. Uh, for example, here it is a, a, a pond. This is what we will consider. That is some uh, water body, for example, here. So, what is at the surface of the earth? Uh, sorry, on the surface of a uh, water body. So, this shows that uh, on the surface of water body, uh, the reflectance value will be uh, something else. Uh, it uh, will be here something else and uh, in the bottom the reflectance value will be something else so here this one is the surface this one is the volume and this one is the bottom uh, interaction of electromagnetic radiation with the water so spectral reflectance of uh, water is affected by uh, presence and concentration of dissolved water or dissolved matter uh, any water body having different particles changes its characteristics for example pure water will have clear clear crystal clear uh, reflectance value while if uh, concentration uh, for dissolved matter increases in that water so it's uh, uh, it might be a muddy or uh, its uh, color may be changed so this will also affect uh, reflectance of uh, uh, radiation uh, depth of water body also affect uh, uh, spectral reflect uh, reflectance you know, for example this is a surface so on the uh, surface of water on the surface of water the reflectance will be something else and in the 
depth of the body will be something else. Uh, the wavelength also and the, uh, the edge depends upon the wavelength of the uh, uh, water, uh, the water body, uh, surface conditions and angle of observation and illumination. Interaction of electromagnetic radiation with water. Uh, surface reflectance carry less information about water and more about the surface conditions such as wind and waves effects. Uh, as we seen here that uh, it might be like uh, uh, here the information on the surface uh, will be uh, different than that of uh, on the in the bottom because surface is more clear or uh, more obvious towards uh, the electromagnetic radiation than that of a bottom. Spectral reflectance of water body depends upon energy scattered or reflection within the water. Uh, spectral reflectance of water body depends upon energy scattered. Uh, for example, this uh, we see again this one. Uh, this part says that for, uh, this scattered energy, the energy scatters from uh, from different in the different direction. So spectral reflectance of water body depends upon energy scattered or reflected within the water or uh, it might be like uh, scattering of uh, this also. Deep water bodies with absence of impurities will appear blue green. As uh, we see that uh, deep water like in different lakes uh, or in different uh, ponds etc the water we see appears blue or green in color it is due to that uh, scattering by the particles that are small relative to the wavelength cause shorter wavelength to scatter more as we have discussed it is in the previous lecture that it is a scattering phenomenon due to the scattering phenomena we see the water color blue or green uh, in clear water, it is possible to estimate the depth from the intensity of visible radiation, particularly blue light reflected from the bottom. I, uh, clear water shows particularly, uh, we can estimate the depth. However, at greater depth, all visible radiation is absorbed and water bodies appear dark. Uh, in near infrared region, water absorbs all the incident energy and is the only natural material with this property. So, water bodies can be distinguished easily from other surfaces features in this part of electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, near infrared region, which is uh, used to identify the water bodies in an image. This is, for example, water body. Uh, which is a lake so the lake uh, will have uh, response in the lake uh, in the near infrared region that is x y and z we will just see here uh, we will consider here visible range and this one is near infrared range so if we want to see the object or uh, water in the near infrared range it will be dark in color so easily we can identify that it is water so in this uh, range of water can be identified easily in the image uh, it can be seen here that uh, from the surface of uh, this is water surface and uh, this is 0.2 meter depth this is 3 meter depth and the last one is 20 meter depth so the responses the spectral responses are changes Here it is 
picture just wants to say something yes and here this picture just wants a blue one and the here this picture just wants is this one so as the depth increases with the increasing of depth the spectral response also changes that is here you can see that the spectral response value is about 88% uh, or 88 mb uh, but uh, in this case that is depth so in the depth 20 meter the response the reflectance response is up to 60 so as the depth increases the value of uh, reflectance also decreases thank you